Chronicles chapter 2, King Solomon filled with the wisdom and the weight of his father's legacy, set his heart on one great task, building the temple of the Lord, a house worthy of his name. Solomon knew his work would require more than just stone and timber. He, would, he sent King Hiram of Tyre, seeking the finest craftsmen and the best cedar wood of Lebanon. Hiram responded with joy and acknowledgement the greatest of Israel's God. He promised to send not only the materials, but skilled workers that led Haram Abi, a master craftsman, a bronze, gold, and silver. Solomon's preparation was vast. 70,000 men carried the stone, 80,000 cut timber, and thousands more oversaw work. The temple would be unlike anything Israel had ever seen. Solomon says, Who am I to build the house of God? Even the highest of heavens can't contain him. But I will not build, or I will build, not because he needs it, but because we long to honor his name. The preparation began for the house that would stand as a place of worship, where Israel can meet with their God. But Solomon knew that the temple itself, not for God, but to dwell in, but it was a symbol of devotion. In the heart of Solomon's grand vision was a simple truth. The temple wasn't built because God needed a home, but it was because the people needed a place to meet him. Solomon understood that the real temple wasn't made of stone, but the hearts of that long for to know God, who have made the heavens and earth. You have a blessed, wonderful day. One day at a time, we'll get through the entire book of the Bible. Make sure you share and read your word and anyone you think that can benefit from this, share this with them.